Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a spend the weekend with me vlog. So hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I'm doing live streams and also when I've uploaded new videos. So, today is Saturday, the time is 10 past 9, I've been up since about 8 o'clock, like, I just couldn't lay in, it's so annoying, like, it gets to the weekend when I can have a lay in bed, but my body clock just seems to wake up, like, it just, it just doesn't want me to lay in bed in the morning, so anyway, I'm up, I've just had some breakfast, which, uh, if I do say so myself, was uh, very nice, actually, <laughs> just had some scrambled egg with, um, some tomato and uh, little bits of my vegan smoky ham. So yeah, it's really nice, nice breakfast. Um, I'm gonna get in the shower in a minute and I'm planning on going to some little local charity shops. I think they open about half nine. Uh, so by the time I've had my shower, dried my hair a bit, got ready, walked up there, it should be around the right time if not a little bit later than the opening time, so that's fine. I don't want to be like the first person there, do you know what I mean, when they open the door and I'm just like, hello. <laughs> so I let a few people in first and then I wander in. But um, yeah, so I'm not looking for anything in particular, but uh, just stuff either for myself, because I love charity shopping, or um, for eBay. And also, also, I'm thinking of doing Marketplace, you know the, um, what is it, Facebook um, Marketplace? A friend of the family, told us that Marketplace is a great place to sell and you haven't got like the fees of eBay and that. And I was like, hmm. And also I thought it would be a good idea because sometimes I see stuff in a charity shop, um, which I think would sell really well, but it's, you know, breakable thing or it's too bulky, it's too heavy to post. And I'm like, now I'll leave it. But I could put it on Marketplace because obviously, you know, people are local and they can collect it and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So yeah, when I'm out today, I'm going to look for things that I wouldn't normally look for because I wouldn't post, but I could do collection only. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe I won't find anything. Maybe I will. That is the gamble that we take when we go cherry shopping. Um, but, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go to some shops, come back. Um, and, yeah, I think me and Nathan said we'd go out today as well. We want some bits and pieces. So, we're going to go to Londis. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get some, like, snacks, drinks, things like that. I need to get some corn mints. I'm very desperate for it um because me and Nathan were chatting and we said that I hadn't had that um corn cottage pie for ages we used to make it together and it was just it was fun cooking together and also it's really delicious um so yeah I'm gonna look for some corn mints I mean I will look this morning when I'm in the um Hamlet Court Road there's a co-op there but if not we think the Londis sell the corn mints anyway enough about corn mints <laughs> um yeah, what am I doing the rest of the weekend? Well, I've got a lot of filming to do. I'm so behind with my filming. I feel like I say that every vlog. Um, it's true. I just, I don't know. I find it so hard these days to motivate myself to film. Like back in the day, you know, when I was a YouTuber, an early YouTuber had just started. I was so keen. I was so into it. I was literally filming like seven videos every day. Like I couldn't get enough. And now it's a real kind of struggle for me to motivate myself. <sighs> but... I've got to do it because like, you know, is what it is. YouTube is, is you know, one of my jobs as well. As much as it's my hobby, it's also one of my jobs. You know, I've got two channels on here. Um, so I've, I've got to kind of, well, as they say, pull my finger out. <laughs> Get on with it. That's a horrible expression. But anyway, uh, so yeah, definitely going to do some film today. I've got a few ideas for videos for this channel, book related videos. Um, and obviously I'm vlogging this a weekend. So that'll be another video done once it's, you know, the weekend's over. Um, but I need to do some ASMR videos. So I've got a few ideas for some videos for that channel as well. By the way, if you haven't checked it out, I have another channel. As I say, Minx Laura 123 ASMR. Links down below. Um, so yeah, a lot of filming planned. Hopefully. No, I will. I'm going to definitely do it. Nathan is going to be up in the loft for a couple of hours. He's sorting out some uh, Pokemon cards and some Warhammer stuff that he's selling on eBay and stuff. So he's going to be doing that. And then, yeah, while he's doing that, I think I'm going to focus on just filming, getting everything done, then editing what I filmed, etc. So, yes, that is the plan. Um, also, obviously, reading. You know, being a bookworm, I'm going to be doing lots of reading this weekend. I tell you what, right? 
I'm so lucky. I've had some really, really good reads recently. Like, literally, there's been so many five-star reads for me. And I'm so happy about it. Because, like, for the, well, for the last few months, I was just getting books I just wasn't really enjoying. Or they have just, like, kind of average three stars. But literally, in a row, it's five-star, five-star, five. I mean, there was one that I wasn't that keen on, which I did DNF. But apart from that, everything's been a five-star. And it's amazing. Um, I started a new book last night. I will show you my new book later on when I'm you know, getting ready to read and stuff, tell you about it. But it's so good. It's so creepy and I'm loving it. Um, so, yeah, definitely lots, lots and lots of reading this weekend. Um, eBay work tomorrow, obviously, Sunday. I do my eBay listings and stuff. And as I say, I really want to do this marketplace thing. Um so yeah, I need to kind of learn how to do that. Nathan said it's probably really easy, so hopefully he'll help me. Because <laughs> like I'm, I'm all right once I've, I've learned something, but it just takes me a little bit longer sometimes. My brain doesn't really tend to take it in at first, but once someone explains it to me a good few times, I'm like, oh, okay, I know what I'm doing now. So yeah, do some eBay, do some Facebook Marketplace things. Um, let me know, by the way, in the comments, have you ever used Gumtree or Marketplace to sell stuff? Uh, yeah, I just want to kind of know people's feedback on it, really. Anywho, I'm trying to think what else I'm going to do this weekend. Lots of relaxing, <laughs> lots of chilling. Um, oh, we're going to be doing some Lego tonight. It feels like ages since we've actually sat and made a Lego set together. We've got, I'll show you in a second, but it's my Lego friend's tree house to do. I'm very excited. We've done a good sort out last weekend of the cabinets and stuff. We had a lot of uh, kind of move about of, of certain shelves and then put certain, say, me and Nathan are doing like Lego themed scenes in our loft. And, um, yeah, as I say, we've just been kind of moving scenes around, putting this there, putting this there. And it really looks better. I can see things better. It looks, it just looks better. More space as well in the cabinet that we've put stuff in. Um, but, yeah, the tree house is going to be made tonight. And I'm really excited because, as I say, we've not, we've not made any Lego sets for a little while. I think we went kind of obsessed, both of us, and just doing Lego sets all the time. And then we just needed a little break. But tonight we're back on it because I've got like a bag of different sets that I was buying like over the last month and they've just not been made. <laughs> so um, it'd be nice actually. Just, you know, turn the TV off, put some music on in the background and just sit and you know make some Lego with Nathan. I actually find that quite a nice coupley thing to do. Like I really enjoy it. And he does as well. It's just both of us. We just sit there and obviously we're chatting as we're making the Lego and it's just nice. It's, it's romantic. I think it's romantic. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But anyhow, um, <laughs> not there's anything to watch on TV, really. Like, I, I hardly watch TV anymore. I literally watch my same shows and that's it. Um, when I was younger, I used to watch TV all the time, like show after show after show after show. I literally watch, these are the shows that I watch, like, religiously. So, um, Married at First Sight, Made in Chelsea, which is back, I think it's Monday, this Monday coming, so that's good. Um, Towie. I don't know, I don't like it, but I still watch it because I've watched every single series. Um, what else do I watch? Like, just paranormal stuff, documentaries. Um, there's a show that we've been watching recently, actually, which I have really enjoyed. And it's all about mysterious places. I can't remember the exact title, so I'll have to ask Nathan. But it's all about these weird, mysterious places around the world and, like, these random islands. And, it, yeah, it's just really weird, but it's it's interesting. You, you learn a lot about all these different cultures and the way they live. And it's just, it's fascinating. It's really good. Anyhow, I'm rambling. Sorry. Right, also, what we're going to be doing is this. We're going to be doing some, uh, some planting. Oh. I bought Nathan a present the other day. These were two pound in Poundland, and because um, we was always like chatting about how we'd want to like do some gardening together and, and grow some stuff like vegetables or whatever. And I saw these, um, as I say, two quid for three, and it's Red Hot Chilies little uh, trio seed starter kit. So we're going to be doing that. I think he said they're indoor ones. So, so I was like, oh, we can go and put them in the garden. And he said, no, I think you've put them on the windowsill. So I, I'll let him do it. Um, yeah, I thought it was a nice little present for him because he likes his spicy stuff. So, what do you get here? You get, I've got to pronounce these properly, jalapeno, is that jalapeno? Jalapeno? Uh, cayenne, cayenne, and what is that? Hab habanero, habanero, anyway, they're chilli. So, yeah, that'd be quite fun. Whether they'll turn out alright, I don't know, but, um, they should do, I suppose. Maybe. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that later on today. Get that started. It's exciting. I'm excited. Um, 
and yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else I'm going to get up to over the weekend. But obviously carry on watching and you'll, uh, you'll find out. Okay, right, I'm going to go jump in the shower. Not literally jump. I'll just step into it. But also I need to do my nails because they look horrible and gross. And I just, I need to give them a nice little tidy up and give them a paint. Especially if I want to do some filming today. I don't want these nails kind of like, ooh. Um, I need to put my engagement ring back on as well. I took it off recently because I don't know why. When my fingers get like when my skin gets hot, my fingers kind of swell, and it was making my ring feel really tight, like around that obviously where it is. Um, it's left a little mark there, and yeah, it just wasn't comfortable. So I've took it off, put it somewhere safe, and I've not been wearing it for weeks, and it feels really weird, and it looks it looks weird because I'm so used to just looking down and seeing my engagement ring, and I'm like. Ooh. So yeah, I'm going to go put that back on today, because I don't like not wearing it. I, th I think my finger has kind of gone down a little bit with the swelling. Whenever my fingers get cold, they go like the ring feels loose. But when I'm hot, the ring feels tight. Anyway, that's that. Uh, right, I'm going <laughs> to... Stop it, Laura. Stop bloody rambling. I'm going to go and get in the shower, get ready, and then head out. I was going to say, this is the Lego Friends set that we're going to make tonight. How cute is this? Little Lego Friends treehouse. It's absolutely adorable. And it is set number 41679. But yeah, really looking forward to doing this tonight. Okay, so I'm all ready to go now. Derek's in the background. You're thinking, who's Derek? Well, Derek is a balloon that I got for Nathan for his birthday last week. Um, he's a little bit deflated now, but it's all good. It's all good. He's a dinosaur, which you probably know that anyway. I'm just telling you, just in case you didn't know. But he's cute, isn't he? <laughs> Derek. Anyway, right, so yes, I'm all ready to go. Um, got some carrier bags. Because uh, whenever I go shopping... I get into the shop and if I want to buy something, they go, have you got a bag? And I'm like, oh, I've left it at my home. And it's so annoying because we've got like bags of bags and I always leave them at home. So I've actually remembered today, I'm a good girl and I've got two carrier bags here. They're quite nice sized ones. So if I do get stuff, it's all good. And I'll um, show you my bag. I don't think I've shown you my new bag in any of my vlogs recently. So let me show you. It's a feeler bag. I really love my feeler got my uh, feeler trainers on as well but yeah it's really different for me actually it's like a dark brown and a light brown um and it's just really nice it's got loads of compartments in and it's nice and big so i can get lots of stuff in it but yeah i quite like it i don't normally go for this kind of coloring of a bag but i really like it anyhow right i'm gonna go now so come with me let's go shopping Whew. it's quite windy today actually and it started to rain a little bit great oh. <laughs> um but yeah i'm just walking up to charity shops got my slytherin jumper on today harry potter even though i'm more of a ravenclaw but you know there's a bit of slytherin in me take a seat on the sofa but, uh, yeah mum's just getting up. Nathan is still asleep. He looks very cosy. I give him a little kiss on his head before I left. <laughs> Try not to wake him up, but I, I did wake him up a little bit. He stirred, but you know, I don't like going out without giving him a little kiss. So yeah, he's asleep. Mum is going shopping. I don't know where she's going, Morrison's or I don't know, but she's going supermarket shopping today. Oh, they're pretty. Hold on. <laughs> Just saw them here. It's pretty cute. Another row of them over here. But, uh, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, mum's not been too good. <sighs> I do feel sorry for her, bless her. It's literally like one thing after another. But um, what's troubling her the most at the moment is she has burnt herself with a hot water bottle. So she gets cold, she makes herself a bottle, and, uh, or I'll make her a bottle, and she 
has been putting it so close to her skin that it's burnt her. I think she said there's a bit on her back, but the main thing is, sorry, this is a bit gross, but under the belly. Um, so yeah, it's got really, really red and just nasty looking. Very sore and painful, so yeah, she went to see the doctor and uh, the nurse, and they've uh, put like a dressing on it. So uh, yeah, she has to go back quite a few times now, every few days, for them to do like change the dressing and check on it and stuff. So, uh, but I do always tell her, I was like, don't put hot water bottles near your skin, but she says she's not putting it directly on her skin. But because the skirts that she wears are quite thin material, it's pretty much like having it on direct skin, you know. But anyway, so she's she's not doing good at the moment, bless her, but she's still going to try and head out shopping today because she gets bored just sitting around, as I do. So <laughs> she's a fighter, I'll give her that. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> I don't know what kind of stuff to look for for this marketplace thing so obviously as I said stuff that I wouldn't normally post so I suppose bulky weird shaped heavy breakables I don't know just you know I'm just gonna have a little look you know I don't know what would sell well on marketplace maybe like kids toys or something people always look up kids toys or whatever I don't know I'm just gonna go open-minded really Oh. But yeah, it's a very windy day. Windy, windy, windy. The need to blow dry my hair. It's so windy, it dried it anyway. <laughs> Right, didn't get anything in the first shop. I was looking at those uh, Snoopy pajamas. And they were like six quid, and they were really like faded looking. Like I wouldn't have minded if they looked kind of, you know, new or you know, good condition. But they're really faded and a bit more oh, grubby. So yeah, I wouldn't have paid six quid for those. Anyway, onwards and upwards to the next shop. Just in Sainsbury's, the little local one, seeing if they've got any corn mints. They do! 275. I don't have to get one bag or two. Uh, I'll get two. We can just keep one in the freezer as a spare. Meat free, delicious mints. I love that in the window, that painting of all the trees. That is so nice. I really love that. I'd have that as a backdrop when I'm filming. So nice. I do love trees, so this is very aesthetically pleasing for me. Oh, when is that? May, Sunday, 21st of May, 11 to 3. I like that. I went to it, not last year because I cancelled it, but the year before I went to it and it's really good. Nice community vibes.
Okay, so I've got one more charity shop to go into and then I'm done. I have got a few bits, so I'll do a little haul when I get in. That is such an old game of catchphrase with Stephen Mulhern. It doesn't age, he still looks like that pretty much. <laughs> Okay, so I just realised that I haven't vlogged in hours, like literally hours. This is supposed to be a spend the weekend with me vlog and I've just, yeah, I've just not vlogged in hours. So I went charity shopping, I got some bits and pieces. I'll do like a quick haul in a moment so I can show you what I got. Um, but yeah, I come back and I literally come upstairs chatting to Nathan. Uh, we watched some YouTube videos, just cuddled up and just like chilled and relaxed. And then I fell asleep. I literally fell asleep. Um, so, yeah, I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I've not done any filming. I've not done anything. Like, I just feel really bad because I was supposed to film today. And so, yeah, I kind of forced myself to film, which is never good. Um, I don't think I do very well in my videos when I'm kind of pushing myself. Like I'm pressuring myself. I'm forcing myself to get these videos done. But anyway, I have got a few done. So I'm proud of myself for that. But it was really difficult to motivate myself. And I just... It's really put me in a grumpy mood. Like, I feel really grumpy right now. I didn't feel grumpy this morning. I was you know, enjoying walking around the shops and stuff. And now I'm just like, <sighs> need to calm down, uh, which hopefully I can do now because the filming session is done. I've been doing it for a good couple of hours. Um, I've managed to get one ASMR video done, which oh, is so stressful. Like, I kept messing it up and messing it up and messing it Anyway, so I did get that done in the end. Um, and I've done a couple of vlogs as well, so that's good. But yeah, I just, oh... I don't know, when I'm not in the mood to film, it's just, it's not good. It's not good for my mental health because I, I just feel myself boiling up with anger and stress and I just, I need to chill, chill the duck out. <laughs> I didn't swear, I said duck. Anyway, so the plan of action now is um, still working, but I'm going to be doing something. This is not as stressful as filming. Um, I'm just going to be doing some editing um, I've got a reading vlog that I filmed the other day, which I completely forgot to edit. So I'm going to sit and do that and do some YouTube work, answer comments, uh, put a video on for today, that kind of thing. So I'll do that. And that's, you know, that's not stressful. It's quite relaxing in a weird kind of way. I just sit there with my laptop and do what I do. Um, so I'm going to do that. I need to tidy up this much, uh, I know, because they're all bits and pieces on the floor. So I'm going to do that. And yeah, get my YouTube work done, get the editing done. Um, I'll film the haul in a second so I can show you what I got. Hopefully some of this stuff that I got is decent for eBay. 
hopefully. Um, I didn't really find anything for the marketplace thing. You know, I was looking for stuff. I didn't really find anything that I thought I could, like, mm, that'd be good. Um, there was one thing I did see, and it was an Action Man car, but it was like a huge, I don't know if I filmed it or not, but it was a huge like, Action Man car and the doll in it, and it had the original box, and I was like, ooh, but it was 20 quid, and I thought, you know, is that, you know, is that a good bargain, or am I just going to get ripped off, or am I be stuck with it? I, I didn't know, so I didn't get it. But I did get a few bits and pieces, mainly clothes, um, for eBay. So yeah, it was worth me going, and it was good to just you know get up and get out of the house and stuff. So that was good. Um, but yeah, that is the plan. We are gonna do some Lego tonight. As I say, we're making the tree house. Which, if I'm honest, I don't know if I'm in the mood for it or not. But I'm gonna make myself be in the mood for it. See, now I'm in that weird headspace where I'm just like grumpy, don't want to do anything, and it's not good. So I need to snap out of it. <laughs> um, I also have PMT, which does really affect me. Um, you know, some women don't get it that bad. Some women don't get it at all. But like, I, I do get PMT really, really bad. And it does affect my mood terribly. Um, my stress levels are like up there. Things that would normally bother me, bother me, that kind of thing. And I'm just really ratty. So I will force myself to do the Lego tonight. Because I think once I get into it, I'll enjoy it. So, and it is therapeutic and it's relaxing. And it's something to do with Nathan as well. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, I also want to get to my book. So quickly, before I do the haul, I just want to uh, tell you about my book. So the cover is downstairs. So um, this is in my my little reading book sleeve that I've got. I love this, by the way. So cool. Um, but yeah, I'm reading a book called The Toll House. And it is by Carly Regan. And it's really good. I'm only on page uh, 38, just about to start chapter five. Um, but it's really good. It's a real kind of kind of classic ghost story you know creepy house in the middle of nowhere the mum and her little boy the little boy starts seeing ghosts and spooky stuff happens and he has nightmares and yeah it's, it's kind of like a classic spooky story but I'm really really enjoying it um so yeah that is my current read so at some point once I've done the YouTube editing worky stuff then I'm literally just gonna sit there and I plan on reading for a good amount of hours like just focus on the book get my weird headspace gone and just relax a bit so yeah I'm not gonna go and make myself a cup of tea and just you know just sit and read for, for a few hours and stuff that'd be nice but yeah it's a really good book so um I actually filmed a book related video actually for this channel so I filmed a video called um last current next so basically I talked about the I spoke about there we go, it's a bit of grammar. I spoke about the last book I read, which was The Ugly Truth by L.C. North. I love this, by the way. Five stars on Goodreads. My current read, which is obviously The Toll House. And my next book, like Plan and Reading, which is a library book from Simon James Green called Boys, uh, Boy Like Me. So um, I love doing book-related videos. Like I know they don't get that many views, but like, I, I just super enjoy it. I love talking about reading and I'm so passionate about books and stuff. So yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. Sorry. Right, okay. Um, I also have a big bowl of washing to put away, like laundry and that, which I I can't be bothered to do it this second in time. So there we go. I will do that in a bit. <laughs> I'll do it later. It's, it's all fine. But um, right. OK, so let me do the haul for you to show you what I got from the charity shops. So first of all, I've got this biscuit tin. <clears throat> oh, my voice has gone all croaky. Um, I've got this biscuit tin. This is a collectible biscuit tin, a Kit Kat a bus shaped tin it's pretty cool isn't it i like that um so yeah that was only a quid so hopefully that'll sell well on ebay people love their tins trust me so i've got a brand new with tags spongebob purse <laughs> it's like spongebob's are kind of like rocking out there so yeah i got that so i paid a fiver for these but they are a size 24 26 and they're from sainsbury's and they are cat pajamas <laughs> But it's all different cats on it. So, I mean, I'm more of a dog person, but I know people love their cats. Um, yeah, so pyjamas with cats on. Hopefully they'll sell well. Also, this dress is a size 20. I can't remember where it's from. Where's the thing? Hold on. Do, 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 do. Where are you? Ah, come here. Is this Sainsbury's as well? Yeah, this is Sainsbury's as well. Oh, uh, size 20. It's like a really nice colouring. I really like this print as well. And it's like navy and orange. So I got that for eBay. Got another couple of dresses, like tartan style. These are a size 24, I think. 24, oh, 26. Okay, size 26. Um, and these are both from yours. Hold on. There's that one there, which is kind of like a 
browny colour. And this one here, which is the green. I do really like the green colour. I think this is nice. I like a bit of, bit of tartan. Then I got this jacket. Uh, this was £5, but it's very smart. And it's a size uh, 28. And it is originally from uh, Rogers and Rogers. And it's like a nice stripy jacket. And then I picked up this for four quid and it has been tested. It's got all the sign on it that's been tested and it works. And it is the Curl Secret Bablis. Um, there you go. Curl Secret. Effortless curls, long lasting results. So I was tempted to keep this, but then I was like, I've already got a curling thing. So, and also this hopefully will, you know, give me a bit of money because I need some extra money. And yeah, you put your hair in it and it just kind of curls it. It kind of goes... <laughs> Yeah, um, and I'm also quite worried that I'll get my hair stuck in it because I'm stupid like that. So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, obviously in the box and everything. It's been tested, so I'm gonna pop that on eBay as well. So I didn't get loads, but like, I got a few little bits and pieces. I'm eating a naughty bag of crisps, Quavers, cheese, nom 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 nom. <laughs> I'm stressed again, seriously. Um, basically, I'm just doing some editing and I've realised that I've lost, well, deleted the intro to the video that I'm editing. So it doesn't start with, hello, welcome to this video, explaining what it is. It's just, oh, that bit's gone. I've obviously mixed it up with another video and just deleted that part. So, I mean, the rest of the video is there, but it, it just kind of starts sort of randomly with no intro so i've just put like a title screen on saying reading vlog and oh, i know it's stupid like most people don't even care but like things like that really bother me i'm just kind of unhappy with how it's you know turned out but i suppose is what it is the rest is done i suppose you know it's just that beginning intro bit so we have some scratch cards We've got two of these green ones, which are the pound ones, and we've got Bingo! Bingo Bob. Bingo Bob, yeah. Um, how much are they? They're the three quid. But we enjoy doing them together. Yeah. So, I am trying to calm down from my stress and do some uh, Saturday scratch cards. <laughs> we'll let you know if we win. We lost. We're losers. What losers we are. <laughs> oh. now it's time for a good bit of book. Are you going to read as well? Yeah. What are you reading? Amazing Tales from Times Gone By. A Reader's Digest book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Enjoy. Thank you. And I'm going to read Toll House. Ghosty story. <laughs> well, Ma. Hello, right, baby. Are you okay? You're in a better mood than your mum. <laughs> you haven't got PMT, have you? No. Okay. Right, would you like some dinner? Something different. Right, it's not different, it's the same thing, but you like what you like, don't you? And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay, so I think my PMT mood is very quickly going away. And Nathan knows why. I can see why. <laughs> I had to live for one. <laughs> um, yeah, they turned up late, but we had the courier knock. I was like, have you ordered a takeaway? And you're like, no. no. And we realised it's come like three days early. This is Lego set, Lego friend set, 41714. And this is one of my dream Lego sets. I absolutely love this. I think it's called Andrea's this. Theatre School. Yeah, Andrea's Theatre School. That's how it looks when it's closed. So it's like one of them modulars. Yeah. I mean, even that's beautiful. I mean, the box is a bit ripped, but that's all right. But it's got a little post box, the um, street light, the little pictures there, sold out <laughs> shows, who's on. And obviously it does open up, so you get the stage. That bit looks quite yeah. chunky. I love that little sign there, rehearsal in progress. And you've got two different backdrops. I'll turn the box over in a second. But this is what I'm going to have on. So it's like dark purple, like a nighttime thing. You get little bits and pieces that they'd use in the theatre. Oh, Props. And look at the little um, box. box uh, what's it called? Box seats. Box seats, yeah. 
love that and you also get little chairs down here that can watch the show there's a few mini figures there's an organ how many um figures do you get with this Ah, oh, there we go professor adrian who looks like you a bit he's the teacher if your hair was longer oh yeah he's a teacher i've got andrea ollie and freya they're actually really nice figures I can't stop looking at it. And so, if you look on the side, oh, here, okay, there's some of the props they can wear. Look, the outfits, cat ears. Oh, yeah, they're doing cats or the, night. Yeah, the night. <laughs> I've got to try and turn this over. Hold on. Oh, look at this. There's a little microphone. Look, yeah. that's actually really cool. Guitar. Oh, look, it can be a tree. It's like that advert. I want to be a tree. Do you remember that advert? Right, what way are we going? Is it right, okay? Pull. So I'll turn the box around. Oh, we turn the box around. So the, yeah, this is the daylight sort of scene. scene. Yeah. The and castle. The curtains open and close. Oh, they do open. I yeah. thought they were just for show. Yeah, that's why it's got the arrows. Ah, that's even cooler. Performance. We'll start. Oh, look, there's the little bit. Yeah, the Stage and yeah. little ticket booth there going in. The props, the makeup. The witch's hat and a skull. Oh, it's got one of them little skull yeah. heads. I like them. The makeup. Oh, yeah. look. A little makeup and hair. That is really cute, actually. The director with his uh, megaphone. <laughs> this, honestly, this this is life. <laughs> this is life right here. Um, so, yeah, it opens up and stuff. Or, I mean, I'd probably have it both. Sometimes yeah. I'd have it shut because it looks nice. And sometimes I'd have it open with the night. To be fair, though, that is quite a nice... I mean, I still like the nighttime yeah. one better. But that one with the cars is pretty cute. You can just swap yeah, just mix just them cards. about. Yeah. Um, so, basically, um, this is... How much to buy? £90. £90 new. New. New is £90. Pounds. Normally used, it goes about 60. Yeah. So recently, yeah. I lost... Oh, this is like bids on eBay. I lost two. And they were going... They both went for about 40, was it? Yeah. And went... I was gutted. I was like, oh no, I've just missed it. Or... And they were like, deals was the century. Yeah. Because it really goes for 40. Exactly. And I didn't look... I'm bothered looking because I was thinking, well, I'm not going to get it. I'm never going to get it. It kept saying it was like 70 quid, 90 quid. I was like, nah, I'll leave it. And we was just sitting there one night. You were looking up your Lego bits. And I was like... Do you know what? I'm just going to look up the theatre, see if it's there randomly. And... There was a newly listed one. <laughs> newly listed at 40 quid. And you was like, yes. I was like, oh my God, and it's a bite now. Yeah. Um, so I just, I was like, oh, I shouldn't really do this. Money-wise, I shouldn't yeah. have done it. But... You was never going to get that change. I was never going to get... I mean, this is... You can see next to my hand. This yeah. is a massive, massive set. It's, the same, it's about the same width as my... Uh, pyramid. Pyramid box, but not... Yeah. Really. But it's, there's a lot in there. Mm. <laughs> this is going to take... It's going to be a big build. A big build. That's going to be an all-nighter with about three energy drinks. You're going to have to buy me a takeaway to make that. I'll, make, I'll, make, I'll not make you it. I'll buy you a takeaway to help make this. So that I don't have to cook while I'm <laughs> making that monstrosity. But it is it's big. But for 40 though. quid, though... Bargain. I could not do it. So, yeah, I'm a bit naughty. It's, it's but, better than half price. But I couldn't let it go. It's £90, pound, though. Yeah. And you can look it up online. It's you know I'm not just saying it is really expensive. I know the bro uh, the box is a bit broken. But it doesn't matter. It's all Don't complete. Boxes, so. Exactly, it's all complete yeah. and in good condition. And it was really sweet actually. The story is that the girl that was selling it is yeah. like obviously got a bit older, yeah. and she's not into a Lego yeah, as yeah. much. And even though I'm 43, mm. <laughs> but she's not into it as much, and she wants to decorate a room. So, so her parents are selling all her like Lego friends stuff and sets just yeah. to get money so she can decorate a room. A bit more sort of teenage girly yeah. probably. Yeah. And there's me at 43. Yeah. I'll have it. Older than her by many years wanting it. <laughs> I'll have it. But yeah, so there we go. I, it's definitely cheered, yeah. cheered the hell up out of out of my my mood. So there we go. That is the Lego, what was it? Andrea's Theatre School. And, Andrea's Theatre. Andrea. Yeah, Andrea's Theatre School. But where's Andrea? She's the one in the circle on the front. Hold on. Oh, okay. I think that's her, isn't it? Mm, I don't know, because yeah. I think she's the one that's actually in the performance. Mm. Anyway, but yeah, this is great. So um, I thought I would show that to you. Also Lego related. We're not going to be making the tree house no. tonight. I can't be bothered. You can't be bothered. We're not in the mood, We've so we're going to do it tomorrow. To do, so. Yeah, eBay stuff to do, dinner, 
Yeah. So, yeah, but we're going to do it tomorrow instead. So hopefully, yeah, you'll still see it on the vlog, but just tomorrow, so not tonight. There's still Lego in this vlog, though, because... There is Lego. Lego. And in the tomorrow's... In tomorrow's vlog. They'll see it made yeah. then. So, yeah. We are doing a bit of gardening. Well, indoor gardening. Indoor gardening. So, I can't show you the box because it's all sort of... Oh, you can. There's okay. the front. So, yeah. Red Hot Chilies. It's like the band. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Peppers. And that is what you are growing. Yeah. So I've got these for you in Poundland. Nothing you but did. the best. The, two, the best ones. Two pound for these. That's good. Good going. Um, so you've got jalapeno. Yep. Cayenne. 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 And habanero. And habanero. There we go. So. I've already done the dirt in one. So what what happened? So you get you start <laughs> off with these little pellets dry. That look like giant Rolos. Yeah. That are not. Don't eat them. You add water to these, and then you get this. Here's one I made earlier. It's like yeah, you're like on the cooking show. So you mix that with a certain amount of water. And then it becomes this. And then you add this into the pot, which becomes this. It is like blue Peter. And then what you do is you get your little bag of seeds. <laughs> They're tiny. Because that's what seeds are like. Yeah. Put a few in there, two or three. Cover them over with a little bit of dirt. Do you water them or not? Not yet, because it's full of water at the moment. Because we're just oh yeah. The water. But yeah. then once they're all done, <laughs> you close that up like that with the uh, seed. Okay. And then you can only open this again to water it a little bit. And oh, once, so you leave them in the packaging until you start seeing seedlings coming up. Once you oh. see seedlings, they oh. come out. Oh, okay, just rest. And they're definitely yeah. indoors, not outdoors. Yeah, until May. You can't put them outside until May. Oh, okay. So you'll be able to eat your own chili peppers if in, they, like, if September. If planned. Yeah. <laughs> if things go I wonder planned. if you still fancy eating them in September. And you like them, yeah. peppers. Yeah, exactly. So we are doing a bit of gardening. And I did ask the question, is there poop in it? And you said, like, probably possibly, possibly tiny bits of animal poop. But we don't know. Yeah. I try not to think about it. So they just get buried underneath for a little bit. If I can get them in. <laughs> I'm falling asleep watching you do this. Very calming. Zen gardening. I love, I love that. Yeah, that was good. That with the little sand and yeah. the little broom thing, mini broom. <laughs> I remember years ago, when I was a, well, I must have been a teenager, my mum bought runner beans. I think you know this story. And we had them the side of the house with them yeah. sticks yeah. to make them grow. Yeah. <laughs> and guess how many we got? One. You do know this story. Yeah. yeah. One runner bean One out of the whole bean. packs of them. Um... Well, that pack there was the forms that I opened. That one was the jalapenos. So that's jalapenos. I just realised, how are we going to know what's one's which? Well, they'll grow like that. Oh, yeah, they look different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I was going to say, they'd all be the same. You wouldn't have a clue what you're eating, but no. yeah, that's true. No. Yeah, but how are you going to remember Sprinkle that one's well. green, that one's red, and that one's like... I won't until they grow. It'll be a mystery. Ah. They'll get treated the same. Sprinkle a little bit of water on just to help the babies grow. And you have to talk to them. And that is true. You do have to talk to plants. Because King Charles, obviously was Prince Charles, he used to always say, and people laughed at him, yeah. that you should talk to plants to help them grow, and people yeah. mocked him. But it's true, you should. And then they found out that that's actually, like, it can help them. Help them. Yeah. So what, don't laugh, but do you mean they can hear? Yeah, they, they hear you, and they think, fucking hell, I'm growing up quickly to get out of here. <laughs> and we so apologise for that language. <laughs> I let you on my vlog. And that's what you do. Yeah. But I think there's obviously some truth in it. I think it's because plants use... The energy? No, they use carbon dioxide. So what you breathe out, mm. plants actually breathe in. Right. So they recycle your bad air. Right. Any bad air that you breathe out, like when you go... And they, I sigh quite a lot. Like, they, no, when you breathe out. Not just oh, sighing. Okay. Just like actually breathing out. When you... Every time you exhale, carbon dioxide comes out. Oh. Plants breathe that in, and then they breathe out oxygen, which you breathe. That's really so cool. work together. Why am I 43 and don't know that? Because you didn't go to school. I did, but just not much. No, not much. Just, <laughs> right, next up, we've got 
the cayenne peppers. So the only ones we'll know. And what was the cut? Are they the red? The only ones we'll know are the middle ones. It's going to be cayenne. And what is the spiciest one? Like the hottest one out of these? Do you reckon? Uh, I don't know. I've only, to be honest, I've only ever heard of jalapeno. No, I've had, I've had all of them. Have you? Yeah. Oh, that's all right then. Here's hoping you will have some of these if they do grow. There shouldn't be a reason why they shouldn't, yeah. is it? You're allowed to, once the plant gets a bit bigger, mm. you can actually put it in a bigger pot. pot. I thought you were going to say you, you could sell them. <laughs> and then you're just like, I can yeah. put them in a bigger pot. They're I was like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Grow, I can tell you that much. Nah. No, why not? Well, because we you've only got one runner bean. That is true. So we'll probably get two peppers. When I told my dad about this, he said we should get tomatoes. And I said, it's pointless because you, you don't eat them. I don't like tomatoes. That's I do, good. but I have to be careful because yeah. the acid, they give me ulcers and whatever. But I do like tomatoes. Acid. Next lot going in. Anyway, I'm going to stop filming for a bit and just enjoy Watching. the ambiance of the gardening. Oh, oh, there we go. oh no, it's made me yawn. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to sign out for tonight. Uh, the time is nearly 5 to 10. You see, it's still quite early. Yeah. yeah. Um, We've done a lot this evening. We have done a lot this evening. So, yes, we are going to now do our own thing, but together. Mm. Together forever, like to be do be do do be do ba ba da. Remember that? From Greece. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Nathan is playing his game on the laptop. And I am going to read. Read. At least you ain't editing now. Just reading. <laughs> no, editing's done. Reading is now ready to commence. Um, and then, yeah, that's it, really. Just going to chill. Have you got any shows to watch? Or? No, I don't think there's any tonight. So <sighs> you get a nice big time. Oh, yeah, but for how long? Until you fall asleep. I'm yawning now. Yeah. That's not a good sign, is it? That's why I offered you it. <laughs> <laughs> Put me quiet time so I fall asleep. Because you, oh no, it won't. Long and I've got long. the fire on, which isn't going to help. Uh, but yes, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hello, it's Sunday morning. The time is ten past ten. I'm in my jacket um, because it's really cold. Yeah, I know I look a bit odd indoors in a jacket, but I'm just I'm so cold, and this is super snug. I really love this jacket. I got it um, last year in a charity shop. And I love the colour of it. Like this mint green is just so nice. Anyhow. <sighs> so yeah, I woke up to a bit of a coffin fit, which wasn't nice. Um, so I'm going to have my asthma pump. And I'm going to make sure I drink a lot of water today. And hope that helps. But um, yeah, I think it's my hay fever. I'm sorry to moan about hay fever again. I'm going to get this the rest of the year now. Hay fever, hay fever, hay fever, hay fever. But I do get it really bad. Um, so anyway, yeah, when I get my hay fever bad, it can affect my breathing. Like my breathing um, can get quite tight chested and I cough and stuff like that. So it's, yeah. Anyway, it was not very nice to wake up to. You know, when you're like half asleep and I'm like, <coughs> I feel like I couldn't breathe properly. It's horrible. Anyway. So, the plan of action is, Nathan's still asleep, um, we didn't go to bed till like, I don't know, probably about half three, something like that. Um, I was randomly having dreams about spaceships in the garden. What have I done to my hair? Look at that. Um, <laughs> I dreamt there were spaceships, like aliens and stuff in the garden. I, I don't quite know why, I, I, I don't know, who knows. I have weird dreams and stuff. Um... But yeah, he's still asleep, so I'm thinking I'm just going to make some breakfast. And I don't know, I might just have a little read, like a morning read. I did read a bit last night, but then I think with the fire on, and I was already yawning, I yeah, I fell asleep. So I think I only got a couple of chapters done, which isn't great. Um, so I think I might have like a morning read instead, and spend like, you know, an hour or so just focusing on my book. Um, and then, yeah... I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. I know I've got to help Nathan with his Pokemon cards that he's selling. Um, I've got to help him sort them out into different piles and bundles and stuff. So I can do that with him today. Um, we've got our Lego tonight because we didn't do it last night. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, eBay at some point. 
I don't know. See, I used to do it. I used to put my listings on about like five or six on a Sunday afternoon, like early evening. And yeah, they went okay. But I was like, hmm, someone said you should try it later on a Sunday, like Sunday night, uh, which I've tried. And I still think they used to do better. Like they'd get a bit more money finishing earlier than later. So I'm not going to do it late. I'm going to do it old school time, like Laura used to do it, five o'clock, six o'clock. Uh, I mean, it might not make any difference. It might just be the item of clothing, it, you know, that I'm selling, but who knows. But I will do that earlier. Um, and also tonight I want to do the Lego, so I don't want to be like, mm, you know, quickly doing my eBay, rushing it, and then doing my eBay, uh, and then doing the Lego, and anyway, I'm rambling, sorry. So yeah, I'll do my eBay a bit earlier, I think. Um, also, I'm having, I'm having second thoughts about something. The hair curler that I got yesterday um, in the charity shop. I'd love that secret hair, hair, I can't talk, sorry, hair curler. I'd loved it for years. I kept seeing it and it was just so expensive. I never got it. Um, the fact that I found it for like really cheap, I'm like, oh, should I put it on eBay and sell it or should I keep it? Obviously, I'd give it a nice little wipe over. Um, but I don't know. But then I'm really scared that it's going to like suck my hair up and break my hair. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. But I'm thinking of maybe, because I've got lots of dolls, I might try on one of their hair um, and see if it's if it works okay and it doesn't like get caught or anything. They can be my guinea pig. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll try it obviously on my hair. I don't know, what do you think? Because I really get um, a hair curler thing. But it does look really cool. I've been watching some YouTube videos on my phone this morning. Um, I had them on mute, so obviously the sound wouldn't wake Nathan up because I muted it. Um... And yeah, I was watching all these girls just putting their hair in this thing and it just went and then as it releases, it goes all curly and I'm like, oh, um, it's easier than kind of wrapping it around. You just put it in and it's on it. It kind of sucks it up. I still haven't put my ring back on. I must do that today. Um, but yeah, anyway, I might, I might try it later. We'll see. So I'm going to go and make myself some breakfast. I don't really fancy much. I'm not like hungry, hungry, but I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Hungry, hungry. Um, so I might just have like a couple of bits of toast, a cup of tea, something like that. Okay. Right, so my favourite drink is Pepsi Max. Okay, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I drink it every day. <laughs> but um, the other day when I was in town, I just wanted a quick drink. And I went into a shop and grabbed a bottle of this Coke Zero. So I was like, I don't know why. I just, I just fancied a change of taste. And I have to say, it is amazing it's so sweet it's so nice and it is the zero i actually was unsure i thought i'd bought the wrong one i was like oh god i bought like full fat coke but nah oh so nice um but what's confused me is that when i've had coke zero in a can it doesn't taste as nice but normally i prefer the taste of fizzy drinks from a can than a bottle i find that when they're in the bottle they're not as fizzy not as sweet, and they also go flat really quick compared to a can, um, which for me will stay like fizzy pretty much all day once I've opened it. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm sharing this information, but I'm just like, I'm like, how how can I love it this much? And why do I love it in a bottle but not a can? So when I do go to the shop next, I'm going to grab myself a few bottles of this Coke Zero. Um, I'm kind of intrigued. I want to do like a little test, like get a can of it and a bottle, like um. A, a taste test and like have Nathan like pour it into two separate glasses and see if it does taste any different or if it is in my head if I'm imagining this anyhow but all I do know is I really love this Coke Zero um anyway right I've been doing a lot of reading oh my god I must have read I must have read about 80 pages I think I don't know but there's a lot of pages been read so I'm happy about that um but yeah I'm gonna get in the shower soon because I smell <laughs> and I just want to shower so I'm just going to update you on how I'm getting on with my book I've read so much, I'm really proud of myself I'm just about to start chapter 22 uh, where's the page number? here it is, so yeah, page 195 I'm on so I think that's, yeah, just over halfway, boom so the plan of action is uh, me and Nathan are going to go out in a minute to, um, well, we're going to go to the local shop, but we're going to go to the garage instead because I need to get some money out of the cash point and he needs some of his little, um, what they call motive menthol thingies and they sell them in the garage. So we're going to go there. Um, also, I want some snackies, uh, maybe some crisps. I've really got into eating quavers lately. I really like them. Um, and I'm probably going to get, yeah, some more bottles of Coke Zero. <laughs> 
my new obsession. Um, but yeah, so that is the plan of action. So me and Nathan just went for a little wander, and uh, he very kindly got me a couple of scratch cards. Thank Let's you. Let's hope you win on them. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to do one? No, I'm going to let you do them. You sure? You haven't both. All right, then. That's nice of you. Um, so, yeah, these are the Super 7s, and um, I'm going to have a good scratch now, and I'll let you... You love a good scratch. <laughs> I'll let you know in a few moments if I win or not. <laughs> Look at that face. This is what YouTube have saved as the thumbnail. It's not going to be the thumbnail because I've already made a thumbnail. But anyway, it just it just made me laugh. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing some YouTubey work now, putting some videos on to go public. One's going to go on now, which is um this one here on my vlog channel. It's a tag questions and answers video I did yesterday, and then I've got to go on the uh, Smart channel and upload well schedule a video to go on tonight on that channel. So yeah, just going to be about half an hour or so of YouTubey work. Also gonna do my comments as well so I say 40 minutes or so work and then I'm gonna read and then it's eBay listing time okay so I've just finished doing the eBay listings the time is now 10 to 8 um, <laughs> I was supposed to start way earlier but I was reading my book and I just got so engrossed like I just couldn't stop reading um, and I was like, oh, God, you know, I haven't even started yet. Anyway, it's all done now. The only things I've left that I haven't put on yet um, are these two dresses here. But I'm going to take the photos of these um, downstairs because the lighting's a bit better. And they're longer, so I can, like, hang them on the door. So this one is from yours. Size 30, 32, like a floral dress. And I can't remember where this one was from. Was this yours as well? Oh yeah, this was yours as well. And this is a size 22. I really love the purple on this and the blue. This blue especially. I know there's like a darker blue, but this blue is just gorgeous. Uh, it's very silky, this dress. Um, but yeah, they're the only two I've got to put on. So I'm going to do that downstairs. I've got a hanger. So I'm going to... Ah, stuck. I'm going to take that down. And it just... I just think it looks... Like if they're longer dresses, um, they look better hanging up on a door instead of... Um, like this is why I normally hang stuff on the drawers, but... On the door, they just flow better, and it's a bit brighter down there. So I'm going to do that. But apart from that, all the eBay whew, is listed. <laughs> Look, I'm being a good girl. I'm having a banana. I'm also wearing my top inside out and back to front. <laughs> I was so cold, I just put my top on. Good girl. Bananas. You don't like bananas, do you? I'm driving bananas. <laughs> it's Lego time. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we are doing what we are going to do last night. We're doing it tonight instead. The Lego Friends. What is the set number, bub? This is 41679. Oh, you say it's so good. Um, so let's have a little show and tell what we've done so far. So, oh, we've got the little stairs. I love the little stairs. Little stairs go up. Very cute. <laughs> <laughs> She's just jumped off. There's nothing there. To get some minifigures as well in the set. I like the Lego friends. You and don't Lego like Lego friends them. like you. Oh, look at the little one. <laughs> Any more? Oh, there's a boat. There's a boat. Little boat there. And a raccoon. And a random raccoon. Because they're in the middle of nowhere. That's why. It's not, it's not that random. I suppose it's not random. All right then. Just a raccoon. You're not random. Um, Should we put the raccoon in the boat? <laughs> no. I just wanna... Anyway, right, we're gonna get on with the Lego and we'll show you when it's done when it's done. Wow. <laughs> I really love this. I know you're not into girly Lego, but you've it's got me. Cool it is cute. Oh she's standing there. Yeah, I've put her on the stairs. She likes it. Um I just I so much to take in. And I like the fact it's got a little camp sign because that's where it's going in the yeah. scene with all the rest of the camper van and Oh, I love it. Look at the little stairs. The raccoon's eyeing up the dinner, I think. Oh, it's a tree. I wondered what that was. Yeah. Um, the raccoon is eyeing up the hot dogs. You've got, got the little sundaes there in two the sundays with cherry on top. Do you want me to spin? So area. You know what I love? These Sorry. green. Oh, the greens. Yeah, they're nice Orange little windows. and green. They're cool windows. I always wanted a tree house. There's the little, um, where we start in the bottom. This is my favourite room. <laughs> it's a toilet. toilet. I've never seen a Lego toilet until now. The bed 
bedrooms up here and you open the roof. The roof moves, that's very cool. They're having a sleep, look at them. They're tired. Perfume bottle is beautiful. Little mini hairbrush. And the beds are nice as well. Are they stickers or are they like that? Yeah, Yeah. stickers. Down to the, I don't know what area is that? Is that the bathroom? That's like a little, yeah, bathroom. Got a little sink there. And your camera desk. The camera. And if you want to eat, you have to go outside. To the barbecue. Or you could just eat in the toilet. Or eat in the toilet. Because I did that at yeah. school. Yeah. So I didn't like eating in front of that's people. That's fine. <laughs> it's really good though. And that's the last nice, nice thing about having the roof just kind of opening up. Oh, I've left the toilet door open. Oh, I've no, knocked no. her over. She's, she's down. No. Because <laughs> so she can sit on the sofa. Yeah, if you want. Lay. I can't see because. Yeah, I'm no, that's all right. She's having a lay like I do. No, I can't do it <laughs> from this angle. Some grapes. I don't know why you can't do it. You're I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You're just being a diva, a woman. Of course I am. I'm a diva. You know what goes really nice? That blue, pink and yellow. Yeah. It's cool. But that green window. Oh, you love it. Yeah, I really, there's something. What is it? Aesthetically <laughs> pleasing. <laughs> he makes me laugh how he's looking at the hot dogs, the raccoon. He's, he's hungry. I better watch out because someone's going to lick them. She's after the Sundays. But um, yeah, so that is that is really good. Like, how long did it take us to do? About an, an hour? hour? An hour. An hour to do that. Cool. And I, I paid 11 quid for this yeah. on eBay. Because they, they don't make it anymore, do they? I no, retired, you can't buy it anymore, no. Well, retired. only on eBay yeah, and this stuff. This is a retired is set. So do not go looking on the Lego website for it. Yeah, but you can find you can it on eBay, eBay probably eBay, Amazon, Amazon as well. Second-hand websites you can find. And it, it is a Lego Treehouse. Lego Treehouse Friends 41679. 41679. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you for helping me. Thank you. Even though it's not your no. cup of tea. No. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so it's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me over the weekend. Don't forget to please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also, all the links are down below to my social media. Uh, so come and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads if you're a bookworm. And I do have a throne wish list if you care to spoil me or treat me on there. I've got a bit of food on my lips, sorry. <laughs> I just had my dinner, which was very nice. I had a nice big plate of vegetables. My tummy's not going to be roast. very happy. It was a miniature roast. It was a, more well, veg than it was quite. Else. I don't want to call that miniature. Yeah. I put a lot of veg yeah. on because I realised I haven't really had that much veg lately, and it's not good. Yeah. So I think I want a bit all out. But you enjoyed it. Yeah, <laughs> I did. So my stomach's now. like. Yeah, you enjoyed it while it was there, but now you're not so. Sure. Like it does fill you up, and it yeah. is good for you. So yeah. I don't feel guilty. But saying that, I'm finishing off. There's only a little bit. There's no room for that, though. <laughs> the only Jew with an Easter egg. No, I'm probably not the only Jew no. with an Easter egg. Um, yeah, there's only a little bit left. So, to be fair, these small little buttons eggs have lasted me about three, four days. Like one each. One like one would last me three or four days. Yeah. Oh, don't make out I'm lying. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. It has lasted about three or four days. Oh, well, okay. maybe three days. Yeah, Is no, it? it's three days. No, Look. Different. All the buttons are gone. Look. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they're really nice, actually. Anyway, so, yeah, thank you for watching. We are now going to watch uh, How To You Show. Yes, back on television. So we're really happy about that. The Unexplained with How Hughes. And I'm just going to carry on reading um, really quickly. I'm now on page... Is that? Oh, 306. So, so close. I think. I'm so close to yeah. finish. I'm going to finish that book tonight. Yeah. So. I think about an hour's worth of reading, I reckon, uh, to finish no. that book. No. I meant that book. That won't take me an hour to finish that. That's 70 pages. But, Bub, look, that is not 70 pages. That's tiny. That's All right. I don't think that's, um, that's 70 pages. I reckon there's about 30 pages left. We'll see. Oh, my hair's gone cool. Like curly. Yeah, there's only about 30, 30, 30 pages. pages. Yeah, that's what I thought. I the book. Yeah. So you've got 30 pages, half hour reading. And then you've got your next book. Yes, my next book is Boy Like Me by Simon James Green. <laughs> He's doing the same. Right?
I don't know why I always do that. Well, I can't put my hands like that. What you did? Yeah, I can't do that. They all do that, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, but I can't because yeah, I'm holding my phone. But imagine another hand there. I don't know if it's that. Is it this? Yeah, it's that. Oh, I've got grave your mind. Yeah. I don't know which one it is though. That. That or was it this? <laughs> I always do. Please subscribe to my channel. Yeah. Have you seen me do that or not? I, no, it's not no, even it's, on my face. No, it just goes... no it's more like here. Yeah. Random lad. I don't know why I do that. Yeah. Please subscribe to my channel. Please. And on that note, please, on that note, please do. Alright, everyone, take care. Peace out. See you in the next video. Bye.